The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your, you know, your, your lovable host, who likes to come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got a little bit more selling in here today. Uh, when we talked last week, we showed some, uh, or was it just in the newsletter? We showed some uh, pretty good option charts that put the UVXY at 17. As one of my uh, gentle uh, subscribers uh, reminded me, it went right there today. It didn't go there the way I thought it would, which was uh, start on last Friday. Instead, we had the bounce and then started back down again on Monday. Uh, that's one of the issues with uh, using options is you kind of know where they're going to end up. You just don't know uh, where they're going to go in the meantime. But uh, maybe we've got some kind of low forming in here. I suspect uh, more about tomorrow uh, in that um, we've got a lot of stocks, the usual suspects like Apple. Uh, people are shorting uh, uh, them uh, in 2XS. XS? I think that was a band, wasn't it? XS. Um, and yeah, now what do I got going on here? Okay. Get my keyboard to lay flat. Um, certainly off the highs uh, that we had that everybody was screaming about yesterday morning. Uh, talking about three trillion, well, uh, it was worse than uh, Ponsatani Phil uh, with the uh, with the sun. He went back and hid for another three months. Well, apparently Apple's done the same thing, but you know what? I, just a great deal of that was probably everybody buying it. Why they sold a great deal of other stuff? INX, yeah, that was the band. The they were Australians, weren't they? I think they were Australian. Uh, anyway, yeah, I know how the lead singer died. Anyway, um, when we're looking at that, of course, we want to check and see what we have. Um, options expiration generally is fairly bullish. Uh, this is one of these times. Uh, generally, you can look for uh, eh, half or three quarters of a percent on average from that period higher in the market. Now, if it goes lower, though, uh, the uh, 15 to 20 percent of the time that it goes lower, uh, it uh, tends to go a percent and a half to two percent lower. So the question is, do we stop here and bounce tomorrow on Powell? Or do we break through some levels that just creates more selling? As we said yesterday, there's a lot going on. Uh, in the markets, but I don't think, uh, um, you know, we've got two major things that we're looking at now and the church of what's happening now. And uh, as I said, uh, kind of yesterday, a bit about the insurance companies having to sell. People may be trying to get out in front of that. Uh, but we also have the FOMC, in which uh, reminds me of the uh, 1960s Cold War stuff where they take pictures and see people standing close to Khrushchev and far away from Khrushchev and all try to imply something uh, before they say it. But certainly tomorrow is a Rorschach test um, with the markets already in decline. I don't know if he's going to say even more bearish stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, I think Mr. Miyagi had it right when he said uh, best way to avoid fight, not be there. I think probably the most prudent thing is instead of gambling on what he's going to say, is uh, to react to it to tomorrow. But, uh, you know, we've got fairly light volume as, you know, if we can say six and a half, 6.6 .6 billion shares is light, 
But at least for this time, it isn't a blowout. Uh, it's much uh, lighter. And of course, we could be getting to the point where a lot of these stocks are retesting those previous lows we had a few weeks ago on a lighter volume. That would be nice. Now, do I think that there's a huge amount of upside uh, for the next couple of days before we start selling again? Um, no, but there are some stocks that people are getting outrageously short in. Uh, apples for one. Uh, could we see some big moves out of that and bring up the indexes? I think we could before Friday's close on options expiration, but uh, we'll keep a close eye on it. Give me a call today, 877-927-6648. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can always put a message in the den. So, uh, bounce now. Good. I just don't see any signs of it. Uh, that's it. I'm waiting for a sign. And uh, there's no burning bush out here in the market today. A lot of times at lows there are. Uh, and generally that's what I'm thinking that even if we have kind of a short-term low today, that somehow they're going to try to twist whatever he says into something evil and twisted tomorrow and kind of push it down at least one more time uh, and get uh, the premiums out of the options for Friday's expiration. A lot of times uh, when you're down, and there is a bounce during options expiration. It's Thursday, Friday, and a lot of times Friday in the afternoon, uh, you get a you kind of a big recovery, especially going into Christmas. But I don't know. Headline-driven market, a little tough to tell. Uh, as always, uh, history rhymes. Doesn't really repeat, but uh, Shirley Bassey, yeah, how can you beat it? That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. And uh, no bringing up uh, Ace of Base either in the dead. Uh, on this day in 1902, the cable ship Silvertown began land, uh, laying the first Trans-Pacific Telegraph cable from San Francisco, destined for Honolulu, Hawaii. After laying 2,200 nautical miles of cable, the Silvertown will land in Honolulu on January 1st, 1903. Public messages will begin uh, transmitting on January 5th. And, of course, uh, they would finish uh, the cable all the way to Japan uh, in the coming couple of years. They would run across some islands that later um, would be a big deal. Uh, the Marshalls, a bunch of other ones that uh, ended up being uh, the islands that we island hopped uh, through the victory over Japan. Uh, but uh, eh, a lot of that stuff started now on 1902. And, of course, eh, people complain now. You, you know, They don't even have any idea what communications are. Remember, you'd have to send a, uh, a cable. And why did everybody always say stop? Doesn't it, uh, wasn't it just implied? It's the end of a sentence. I don't say stop every time there should be a period. Why did they have to, in the movies, say stop? Did they just pause? Be back. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, we're going to get into uh, some of the stuff. Uh, questions already coming in, hot and heavy, over the wire. Uh, which I contend the uh, Internet is just a fad. Okay. Uh, question about NVIDIA. Uh, as I said, uh, looks like we're coming back into some support levels. Uh, you gapped up on the 4th of November, 115 million shares. Um, let's get rid of the Gartley's here and get a little less violent out here. Anyway, you gapped up on uh, the 4th, and you had uh, 115 million shares. We're back in with 47. So not saying that we're going to bounce right now, but maybe you get one more push back into that tomorrow. And you might see some of these out here uh, have bottomed for the year. Uh, let's take a quick look at the SMHs. Uh, I did talk to uh, Tim Ord. He'll be on Thursday. So if you have any questions for him, uh, email me now and I'll get them all ready for him. Because like I said, he's not real quick on looking at stuff. He takes about an hour to look at a single chart. So uh, if you get them up front, I'll send it to him before we get the uh, show on. But he'll want to look at the last 20 years of the chart. It just doesn't work for radio or podcasts, unless he's already got uh, a lot of that already figured out. So uh, get those questions and letters coming in. <laughs> uh, Log4J. Yeah, a lot of people asking me about that in the emails. Okay. Somebody says uh, they know why uh, the stop is in there. It said stop because they were sending words over wire on the other side. Yeah, but they were they they'd uh, get a telegram, and then they'd go to some hotel room, and then the guy would ask the uh, bellman to read it, and the bellman would read out stop. Yeah, couldn't you just pause like a normal human, and uh, then they would know that the next sentence was coming. 
I don't know. Everybody was trying to be brief back there. It's probably the equivalent. Uh, we'll find somebody who actually knows. But uh, well, maybe this guy does. Um, you know, maybe if, if they were talking to the telegraph operator, I could understand it. But still has always bothered me in movies that they do that. Uh, anyway, uh, in the SMHs, we're doing about 3 million shares back into the push down with 5 million shares. So that one, yeah, maybe a little iffy. We'll have to watch the volume at the end of the day. But it doesn't look like a blowout, at least so far. Uh, so we'll keep that. Um, oh, yeah, I do have a couple of questions about the uh, log for j What is it and why does everybody uh, bothered about it? Um, we're used to uh, having a uh, interface for just about everything. Um, but if you're running Linux servers, all that kind of stuff, or uh, you're, uh, you've got a uh, router, generally you get something that looks just about like what you're familiar with from the DOS days. Some kind of type thing where you type in it and you've got different commands and type stuff back. Well, that's pretty much what they do, but there's logging files that get created all the time something's uh, operating, like uh, you know who logged into that server, or, uh, what connection was made by that router, or, um, you know, from everything, including uh, you kind of have it in your own car. Every time you see the little lad, light dash, uh, uh, light uh, light up on the dash that says you know check engine light, it logs the error to it, and you have to get the little device and read it. Sometimes some of them are better than that. But uh, it's just a log, and it had a critical flaw for forever. And I was thinking about it and how to describe it to somebody who really didn't know a lot about computers. And the only thing I had was uh, back in the days where you used to uh, try to smack the side of the pinball machine uh, to, get it, uh, to get the pinball over without hitting it hard enough to actually uh, make it uh, crash and take your quarter. And that's kind of what hackers are always doing. They're looking for ways to smack uh, the pinball machine around. And they kind of found a way that no one knew existed for at least 15 years on what literally is every, everywhere uh, in the world. Uh, there may be 200 million different uh, machines that have that log4j in it. So it's going to take a long time. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of Java. I'm glad that none of my devices have it in it. Uh, but at the same time, you want to check uh, to find out and uh, get those updates as soon as you can. But any software that has Java in it, and uh, then that, of course, will bring up a question of what is Java. Uh, Java is a framework to write programs in on multiple different kinds of machines. Um, but... Uh, the framework is just uh, a lot of the stuff done for you. It's kind of like if you're building a house, you don't go get a tree. You go to the Home Depot and get all the two-by-fours. You know, they've already been dimensioned. Everything's ready to go. And this uh, is a component that you just got uh, and used as a programmer that did a lot of these logging things for you. Uh, and, uh, of course... Uh, like I said, it's literally in everything. Uh, there's going to be very tough. I know somebody that spent all week updating 10 of his servers. Um, but uh, if you're not prepared for that kind of stuff, uh, it can be a nightmare if you've got hundreds of thousands of servers. Uh, there's lots of software that Amazon has. They patched over, I think, 10,000 servers in a matter of hours one day. Uh, but uh, not everybody's set up to make changes that uh, one. Come on, 15,885. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's probably a, a level on the uh, indexes, huh? So we shall see. Okay, let's get back to that. Yeah, I'm still showing. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're up. Okay. 
4625 on the S&P, 15181 on the NASDAQ. NASDAQ. Russell's up or down, excuse me, 20. Uh, crude oil's off 60. Um, got some questions about gold. I was long. It looked fairly good. It wasn't acting correctly on Friday, so it got out. Um, thank God. There was, you know, that's why I always say so when you can, not when you have to. It wouldn't have been a big loss for anybody out here, but uh, just uh, you're down. You got some okay volume. Uh, you're retesting the previous 9.6 million share low at December uh, 2nd low. Um, you know, 6 million shares. Yeah. We'll see what it does by the end of the day. Probably just going to be a little light. I would have liked to have seen it half. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And hopefully we're going to go to Bob. In South How are you doing, Carolina. Guys? Great. So what do you uh, want to talk to about? To answer your question first about the uh, why they use the word stop, because uh, they used to charge you for a period if you used it in the telegram as an extra word. So the word stop was free. Uh, it seems irritating. You, you, you kind of know that it's the end of a sentence if someone's reading it. I can see it on yeah, the I paper. Yeah, I understand. 
But well, why would so you the say? Way the, what? No, go ahead. No, I said, why would you say it after you knew that, though? It didn't add anything. It just, I guess, made everybody know that it was a telegram, whatever they were reading off the page. Probably inferred well, it back in the day. Yeah, but uh, those days you got charged by the word, and stop was free. And that's right, why but people I, used it. Yeah, but I meant it in the movies. You know, somewhere oh, the there's movies. the bellman reading it. You know, I, that's what I, I, I could understand at the telegraph office. But it, uh, you got a telegram somewhere else, and people are literally reading it. And it, now it makes sense. It was probably printed off the page, and they're just reading exactly what was on the page. So that makes yes. a lot more sense. I couldn't see them. You know, I would have probably just ignored it, but uh, that's being me. And I probably wouldn't have been a bellman either. But uh, that's it. Well, anyway, let's go to what you've got here. Apollo Global, uh, Global Management, huh? What are you thinking yes, about I was wondering, this? I was looking for an entry point on this. Okay. Uh, on this, they are, let's see what we've got, private equity firm specializing in investments in credit, private ed, equity and real estate markets. Why, what's, uh, what's interesting about this company? I don't know exactly. Well, they pay about a 3% dividend, but they, 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 they really just keep coming in better and better every quarter. So I was just okay. wondering if this, you know. I, I just like to try to get in. I've noticed the stock went down from 82 into the high 60s right now. I was just yeah, wondering six, if it would be a good time to get in. 68.25 was the low today. So at least on a chart basis, uh, I can't guarantee it doesn't gap down, but I can tell you that you could have a fairly uh, narrow risk reward here. Uh, eight, uh, let's call it 8.9 million shares back on the 19th of October. You got 1 million shares today. So certainly on a volume basis, even if this does 2 million shares, you're talking about doing 20%. Uh, my question would be buying it now opposed to buying it January 1st. And the only reason I could see doing that would be if they had a lot of short interest or people trying to uh, rate it or something like that. Um, let me look that up real quick. Well, you don't have a lot of daily short interest. See what we have in the monthlies. Well, okay. <laughs> You're starting to get me interested. It's got eight <laughs> days to cover. So uh, we should get the, uh, well, I guess we'll get it tonight. Uh, the uh, updated short uh, date on this. But, um, yeah, I, I kind of like it. I don't know if you're going to get back up to 80. But uh, do you think you could get a few bucks in before the end of the year? Uh, yes, your risk reward is perfect now. Um, you know, you just don't want it really to close below 68 bucks. So pretty good. You got a ton of people short on this thing, although they haven't been shorting it lately. Uh, but uh, uh, what, pretty good. What do you think a floor on this would be? About 63, 62 if uh, it broke below 68. I wouldn't want to own it if it closed below 68 bucks. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Your risk reward here is perfect. You don't get any better than that. You're right where I love to buy them, which is at the gap higher. You got one fifth the volume or less. Maybe, you know, one one eighth the volume, one seventh. It's going to be pretty, it's going to be a whole, uh, a whole lot of nothing, right? You've got a ton of people that are short with eight days to cover on it. So as far as the setup, it's perfect. The thing is, you really just don't need to close below let's go back and get you the exact number uh the close would be 67 uh 67.85 you don't want to close below that so you know as long as it hangs out there i'm just thinking that today tomorrow probably goes some sideways if you get any kind of action at all you probably could get back up to 74 here in the next week or so uh, okay, my so guess is you get it. The you most you have get, is about a five point ga a five point up spin, uh, range. Yeah, the, the the problem is probably going to be you're going to get it all in one day. Because <laughs> okay. if you got if you got eight days to cover, when everybody figures out the jig is up, they'll be out. So okay. not a bad trade into Christmas actually. 
uh, for the setup. I'm not so enamored with what the company does, uh, but, uh, you know, an interesting setup. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Dave. I really appreciate your ideas. You bet. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, where's my email? Email, email. Okay. A uh, uh, question about the some Asian index, and I make my own, um, mostly because the zero line is problematic in the way that everybody else does it. Everybody says that. But it takes so long to get back to the zero line uh, that it doesn't matter. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a New York Stock Exchange one. And what I've done in my charts uh, for the summation index is uh, give it some gravity uh, back to zero. So each day it's got to fight against gravity uh, either on the high side or on the low side, drag, trying to drag it back to zero over time. Um, so if it just went sideways for a while, it would go back to zero, uh, even without changing the advanced decline line much. Uh, but uh, you are kind of on the downside here. But you get these little things that look like hooks uh, that could. But no, there's no sign. But again, the summation index is not a short-term uh, index. It is actually an index that you want to use for the medium to longer term uh, view of the market. Uh, the most bearish thing here, and why I was bearish going into Friday even, uh, was that you had almost no bounce in the summation index uh, going up higher. Now, you know, we're off 100 on uh, the S&Ps uh, since last Friday. Uh, well, not that much anymore. I didn't look. Uh, but it continues to be uh problematic but you know what i'm just thinking that uh the example of apo there's another one i'm looking at that i can buy calls on that i mentioned in the newsletter this morning uh there's some other things where i think we can make some money if we get a bottom uh, my guess is that 90 percent of the market goes sideways between now and the first of the year and doesn't do much but all you need is apple to get uh as i said people are short the daylights out of apple all you need is a few short squeezes on that. You can get another 50 points, 60, 75 points in the in the S and P's, uh, and probably 100, 150 on the Nasdaq. We'll be back in a. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Turn and uh, yeah, I got a few more emails out here. Uh, what do I think of gold? I don't know, it's just not acting the way it should. Um, no prognosis, uh, as Jesse Livermore said in his book, no prognosis, no profit. Uh, I don't know what's going on, and you would think with the massive inflation numbers, but you got to think that. Everybody's enamored with Bitcoin. As soon as that falls apart, I imagine gold gets some love back again. But also, maybe they truly believe uh, that uh, through uh, recombinant DNA uh, and uh, a thousand scientists that uh, Mr. Powell has been able to regrow a spine and decide that he's truly not going to be the boy who cried wolf uh, and raise uh, rates. But uh, I don't know. It seems like uh, every time before he's folded like a $5 suitcase. There's another 1930s reference for you. Uh, and uh, eh, what else can you say? Questions about the TLT uh, from Frank. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Uh, as I said, uh, there's a couple things going on. People coming out of equities. Going into the TLT, uh, Fed still pushing cash. Uh, it doesn't look like they've changed at all. Um, fold like a cheap suit. Yeah, five dollar suitcase is what I always remember. Uh, okay. Um, do I see anything? No. This is all about the Fed tomorrow, so I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to. Uh, prognosticate because I don't know what they're going to say. Um, I can tell what a lot of people are going to do. These markets would be a lot easier if the Fed wasn't involved every single day uh, trying to uh, jawbone the market one way or the other. Uh, but, uh, you know, once we get into a, a part where they're uh, actually raising rates, I think the whole what are they going to do is arguments going to change. And the only thing is going to be, when will it stop? Um, and they'll be looking for that. So we'll probably get bounces out of that, making them think that whatever they said is a in to the rate hikes. But, you know, we saw it again today, the, the immense amount of inflations thrown into this market, in my opinion, driven by one thing, and that is uh, uh, driving the price of fuel up, which ignited uh, uh, everything. Uh, and uh, it's going to continue. We, you know, if we went back to uh, crude at $45 a barrel, uh, my guess is all this inflation would go away in a heartbeat. But uh, yeah, the war on energy for the uh, current regime continues on. Uh, anyway, I don't see anything here. I don't think that anything's going to matter. 
until the Fed comes out tomorrow. Um, tomorrow morning, we can probably start looking for uh, volume to decrease until the numbers come out. And of course, that's at two. We'll have a bunch of uh, ups and downs. We'll have a press uh, meeting at 2.30. That means that until 3.15, we won't have anything. Uh, and then everybody will be telling us uh, exactly what uh, he said, even though we just heard it. And everybody will be trying to put a spin on it through the end of the day. But uh, probably not till we get to the end of the day, uh, maybe the last 10 or 15 minutes, or we're really going to get a sense of how the market reacts uh, to what happens. And I think uh, better uh, anything is to react instead of anticipate, because I don't know what he's going to say. And nobody else has convinced me either that they know what he's going to say. Yeah, maybe maybe they got a 60 percent chance, but uh, eh, it's kind of more of a gamble than prudent speculation. And I don't like it. Um, question to look at the cues, which we will look at. Q, Q, Q. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, you certainly gap down. You're going to have more volume than the last uh, probably five, six trading days. Uh, you fill the gap. The gap is holding. And that gap is the gap higher on the 7th of December, a day that will live in infamy. You had uh, 56 million shares. You got 54 now. So, you know, you got problems right here in River City. The problem is that it held. And that's generally good enough for a little while. Uh, many people think that we'll come back into selling on January 1st. Uh, they're trying to front run that. I think that probably there's some good buys uh, coming out of this on just a handful of stocks. But again, they're going to have to be really heavily shorted. And uh, I didn't get one today, but I was looking at it this morning. But I was hoping that we get yet another retest tomorrow morning, and I'd like it a lot better. 877-927-6648. And uh, da, 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 what else do we have out here? Question. Uh, Adobe off of 8% uh, ADBE. Okay. Um, as I said, what you really want to worry about is when these things um, actually break through uh, a three by three displaced moving average and you have a big candle. Even if you got this bounce to 675, you're right back down to testing the previous 604 level. You got to 599.10 today. The only good thing is uh, you only have 4 million shares into the 6.7 million share low before. But uh, doesn't look good. Yeah, 600 bucks is support on Adobe. But uh, generally, when you get stocks and they downtrend in the last couple of weeks, at best, you can hope that they go sideways. A lot of times, they continue to sell. Now, these are the ones you want to watch extremely closely for January 2nd or 3rd. I forget when the uh, market comes back. When is that? Uh, okay, we'll close the third, right? So it'd be the fourth. So we got a long wait to start the new year. But volume not bad, but at the same time not good. But uh, once you see those big candles and they break after trying to go up for a very long time like this one did, it's not the textbook of the double repo, but I think it has a little bit of the flavor out there. Okay, and they say that the market is heading higher. Let's uh, update here. And we're still off 42 points. Um, yeah, I just question on, you think that I would rather be uh, in the market tomorrow uh, and buy on the dip because almost always between, I'm going to say 1045, 11-ish to about one, you get people selling in front of the Fed. And there's not a lot of volume, and you get some kind of low. So would I buy today? Uh, you know, if you were selling today, that's another question. But if you're buying to you think that you're going to get ahead of that, uh, and you're front-running it in the case that it goes your way, I'd still much rather buy somewhere in the 
early morning, or late morning uh, to noon tomorrow. We'll be back in a Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Uh, to uh, finish up another excellent episode of the Power Trading Hour. Um, we're looking at what's going on. Um, and yeah, uh, Adobe earnings uh, on the morning of uh, Thursday. And like I said, there's not much going on this week. You've got that. Um, Accenture, Jable. Um, don't you have... Uh, uh, Wednesday night, you've got Lennar. Let's take a look at that. Maybe uh, their comments will be interesting, especially after the Fed. Uh, this is already cracked. Looks like it's going to 107. But, uh, eh, what can you say? Uh, and then uh, Thursday night, I think there's one more that could, eh, steel case. Not doing much. Friday morning, Darden Restaurants. And then uh, Winnebago. Uh, let's see what Darden's look like. Yeah, a lot of sideways in that. Winnebago. Uh, high fuel prices normally have hurt them in the past, but uh, they got helped also by just uh, people wanting to be able to go somewhere uh, and not get trapped. 
in lockdown, so everybody got the Winnebago's win all over. But again, I don't see anything out here that screams go long or go short these things pre-earnings. So fairly quiet there. Uh, let's check back in uh, for uh, the volumes. And we got seven and a half billion shares today. So, you know, we really are kind of coming back into this. Let's take a quick look at the queues again here. And we look at that. Okay. So he came down on the third with 104 million shares. You got 54 million shares now. Um, looks like if you were short, I'd be all much thinking about covering. I don't think we are ready to go long yet. Maybe tomorrow morning. We'll see how that moves. But uh, certainly uh, not a lot of volume out here today. So when you can, or cover when you can, 